Hi, my name is Wendy, and I donated a kidney to the son of an old friend of mine, adult male uh, in his 40s, had been a veteran, uh, did three tours in Iraq, Army uh, Special Forces, and I've known him since he was a little kid. So I, uh, I got give me two, so I gave him one. My kidney recipient was on the other side of the coast. I live on the East Coast, he lives on the West Coast, so I really didn't get to see him on a day-to-day -day basis. But his father, who is a good friend of mine, kept me updated um, via email as to his health situation. I didn't realize how sick he was um, until I got a link to a website saying that he needed a kidney and he was looking for a donor. Um, but when I did see him for the first time, when I went out to California for my donor evaluation um, and testing, uh, my breath was taken out of me when I saw how horrible he looked, how gray, how dry, how thin. Um, he looked older than me, and I'm probably, I think I'm around 15 years older than he is, so um, it was it was pretty daunting. I don't know a lot about, kid I didn't know a lot about kidney disease then. Now I know a lot more. So um, it was exciting to know that maybe I might have a shot at being able to help him live a full life, a uh, fuller life, that's for sure. When I started to learn about uh, people with kidney uh, disease and kidney failure and people that were on dialysis, the um, Surprising, funny enough, or maybe not so funny, um, was to learn that people who um, were on dialysis did not pee. Hmm. I was motivated to donate a kidney to my recipient because he dedicated 25 years of his life to the service, um, did three tours in Iraq, uh, put his life on the line multiple, multiple times for my freedom, our country, and um, I respected him for that. And I, I felt like it was the least I could do to, um, to give him a chance. I mean, he just retired and then he got sick. I had nothing to do with his service. Um, it was a uh, genetic disease that he, uh, he came down with or reared his ugly head. But um, I wanted to help. One of the um, important things for me when making this decision was that I have adult children, 23 and 25 at the time, and I wanted to make sure that I had their blessing. My husband was uh, concerned on board, but knew I was gonna do, um, do it, regardless whether he was against it or for it. I'm pretty strong-willed, but um, it was my children. Uh, I wanted to know that should something happen to them in the event that they uh, had any kind of uh, kidney problems that they wouldn't be able to uh, look at me as a potential donor down the road. Um, God willing, knock on wood, they won't ever have to go through that. But it was important to me to get their blessing and um, I did, I did. I waited until they came home for uh, the holidays talked to them about it face to face, not over the phone, and um, they were good. My daughter, uh, her first question was, what's he gonna do with your kidney once he gets it? And my son was, uh, sure, mom. <laughs> so, you know, I, I really had peace with my decision uh, from the get-go. So I, uh, I, I must say that um, there's, a, there's a real blessing in being able to know that I'm going to so profoundly change another person's life and that if it wasn't meant to happen, it wouldn't. I wouldn't have been approved, something would have come up, um, but to be 56 at the time and be healthy enough, I, mean, I think that's pretty cool. Um, before the, um, during the donation process, I talked with the uh, psychologist and the coordinators and um, they obviously asked me how do you feel about time off from work, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, of course I was concerned about it, but it was not a deal breaker. 
I um, did find out that there is um, a, a, there were funds available, National Association of Living Donor Assistance, now that, um, and they were um, set up to help living donors with travel costs, hotel costs, um, things like that, uh, if, if we qualified. And we were in a, in a position where financially uh, it was a bit of a hardship, the back and forth travel from east to west to back to forth, back to forth. Um, so I applied for funds and I found them to be extremely generous um, with helping us out with our um, travel expenses and hotel, um, car rental. And, um, and for that, I am profoundly grateful. Uh, it, we would have been able to do it. We would have figured it out somehow. But it really made it a lot less stressful um, and it made the whole process a lot easier. And um, so for anyone who is considering donating and they're concerned about costs, I would greatly encourage you to contact NALDAC and, um, and talk to them about their program because um, it just, it was, it was a blessing that I hadn't anticipated when I first started this process. Leading up to the surgery, um, I had a, a whole group of girlfriends and a support system that were available to me um, for venting, for uh, questioning, asking opinions, uh, bouncing things off of uh, friends that I have a friend that's a nurse. She was a support system. Uh, I have another friend who had been through a kidney donation with her son. Um, and so she was also a source of information. I saw what she went through um, during her surgery and it wasn't that bad. So I knew that it wasn't going to be torturously painful. I knew it was major surgery. I was in the hospital for uh, I think five days, four days. Um, anesthesia makes me very nauseous, so that was a concern. And, um, and I think the most surprising part about uh, post-surgical experience was the first time I um, went and I saw Warren after uh, he was brought up to the uh, floor where they bring the um, recipients and the donors and I saw him for the first time and it, it was awesome. His color, it looked like he had been to the beach. Uh, his color had returned. He, he was so happy. He was, he was so excited. Um, he looked great and he said when he woke up in the, um, after the surgery, he said he had immediate rush of energy, which I thought was really cool. And I, uh, it was just, the, it was really powerful. It was a powerful moment to see somebody go from so sick to looking so much better in such a short period of time. I, um, I wasn't expecting that. So that was, that was pretty cool. The best advice I could give someone who is considering being a living donor is um, to seek out a community um, where there's people who have done this before. Uh, I was able to find one on Facebook uh, for living donors, uh, kidney donors specifically. Um, and it was an opportunity to ask questions, uh, read other people's questions, things I hadn't thought about, uh, responses. Um, everybody had a different experience, has had a different experience, and um, it, was, it was very, very helpful. And the other thing is, is I wouldn't let anybody else's um, decision or concern, maybe a family member, uh, in my case, it was a it was a mother-in-law, um, two mother-in-laws, who were concerned about my decision to do it. Um, they were against it. They said they're not family, um, and and I didn't I wouldn't let them anybody else sway me in my decision. Um, I am so grateful and so so. Um, blessed that I went ahead with, with it. I have absolutely no regrets. Um, it has been a very cool experience to uh, see 
photos of my recipient uh, from places all over the world. He's traveling. He ha he um, is visiting people that um, seeing places he was unable to go to uh, in the past and. It's a very gratifying feeling. Um, it's very rewarding. I would do it all over again. Um, and, um, and don't hesitate to ask questions. Don't hesitate to ask for help. Uh, and, and I wish you, wish you blessings on your journey. Um, take care. Bye.